Now then, we're back again with a quick video on how to make a few quid on the side with a bit of spare time, a phone, laptop, desktop and an internet connection. This is not a get rich quick scheme, it's a modest guaranteed profit scheme. Sound good? Let's go. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, gambling, but the house always wins. In the end, we get it all. That's why it's important to differentiate between gambling and matched betting, because they both require a different mindset, and that mindset or attitude is what will keep you on the safe and narrow. The purpose of matched betting is to guarantee that you win, but win small. The main drive behind gambling is the dream that you can win big from small. In matched betting, as the title suggests, you are placing two bets which match each other and in doing so, cancel out the risk. In gambling, the risk is always there, as you have no backup plan for if you lose. I've been match betting now for a few months, and there have been times where the big win has been staring right at me and I've gone for it. Sometimes it's worked, sometimes it hasn't, but every time I've done it I've stepped away for a few days just to regather perspective and not go down that rabbit hole of risk that gambling without a safety net can create. So, just a warning, this is all totally legal and not even frowned upon by the bookies, but that's because the temptation is always there to, for you to mess around and lose big time. So if you think you're level headed enough to continue, then let's go. How does it work? There are basically two kinds of bets. The first is a back bet. A back bet is your standard kind of bet you probably have put on the Grand National or such like before. You're betting that something will happen. So just think of those old films where a bloke is stood with a load of odds written on a breadboard. You walk up and you say, I bet a fiver that Leeds will win. If they win, you get your fiver back, plus some winnings depending on the odds. The second type is a lay bet. Now you have to imagine you are the bloke with the breadboard, um, and you're shouting, I bet a fiver that Leeds won't win, until someone comes over with another fiver and matches your bet and says, you're on. Now, if Leeds lose or draw, then you get back your stake, plus you get to keep their stake, the fiver. In a lay bet, you only ever get back your stake plus theirs, which will be the same amount as they've matched your amount. If leads do win, then you've lost your bet. You owe that person their stake plus their winnings depending on the odds, so you can lose more than you put in. Yes, sounds useless, doesn't it? Why would you settle for that when you could win more on a back bet? Honestly, I'm not even sure why this option exists other than to enable match betting. So how does this work? There are around 60 bookies operating in this country currently, and they almost all have a welcome offer for new customers. The most popular one is bet £10 and receive £30 in free bets. So choose your bookie and check the terms and conditions for their welcome offer. Usually the odds have to be 1.5 or more for your first qualifying bet, and there might be some other tricky things in there to trip you up, so make sure you read it thoroughly. If you're happy, make sure you've opted into the welcome offer because they try that as well. You click on the welcome offer and it looks like you're going straight to it, but when you go through the registration process, it moves you out of the welcome offer. So always look for the promotions buttons and make sure you have opted in before betting. Next, sign up for a betting exchange because these are the only places you can place a lay bet. These also have welcome offers sometimes, but you might want to skip that when you're making your first bet. I didn't want any more complications when I started because there's money involved and I was nervous as hell. <laughs> so deposit your £10 into the bookies and you'll need to deposit more than £10 into the betting exchange because, as I explained earlier, if you lose that bet, then you pay the person who matched your bet. This is called exposure. So as that would suggest, the winnings on the back bet have to be around the same as the exposure on the lay bet and vice versa. Basically, in a perfect world, the back bet and the lay bet would have the exact same odds, like this. This is a matched betting calculator. As you can see, with exactly the same odds, the outcome will be zero. That's rubbish though, isn't it? No, because the back bet has now earned you £30 in free bets. So now you repeat the process, but with slightly different calculations, i.e. you change the settings on here. And there you go, you've turned that £30 worth of free bets into cash. As I said, not a massive amount, but for the amount of time and effort you've put in, pretty good. You can then work your way through all the welcome offers doing the same thing, and as you're going along, the first bookies you used will have noticed your absence and start trying to tempt you back with more offers, so you can have plenty to work through. And as with most work, the more you do, the more you earn. 
as I said, I've been doing this for about 10, 20 minutes a day now for the past few months, so I've made a few hundred quid out of it. So if any of this tickles your fancy, then check out the links in the description. There are several sites which will run you through something similar to the process I've described here, but for real, with your real money. Some are free, some offer a free trial, then a monthly subscription, if you want to go deeper after that. I, I've stuck to football so far, but there are other avenues I've not explored yet, like horses and casinos. I'll also share the free odds calculator, which I use if you want to just go solo like I do. Hopefully these tips can help you out with a little financial boost in these trying financial times. We are Van Life UK Complete Survivor's Guide. Please subscribe.